ertaya et keir mei oil vayatka vila dolemo. Hello there, Brandon Jones here. I'm here Hi. with Isla Hink. Hi. And we like video games. Most Sometimes we play. When was the last time you and I did a preview video too? I'm trying to think of stuff where it's just where it's just you and I. I but it know. came. I I know Sword and Sorcery, Sorcery was the game. What is the developer of Jet Sword the Far Brothers? Shore? Uh, Jet the Far Shore is a game that just came out this week. Wait, is this Sword Brothers? It's the Sword and Sorcery people. Is it? Yes. Okay. And every time I like, th I ask myself that, I reconfirm it in like some piece of information or something. They're a developer that hasn't created a ton of stuff, and so it's definitely like a name that I recognize. I remember Amanda was playing that game a ton on the iPad, and so this game is out. It's about space travel. I think yeah. you and I share our like No Man's Sky interest, mm -hmm. and so like this does kind of cross our. You know, but what were you thinking? What were your expectations at before you picked the game up? Like, what interests you from just watching trailers like, and stuff? Like No Man's Sky, Race the Sun is what I. Had figured, but those are very colorful, very bright, very colorful, and this is like woof. At least what I've played. Race is, the sun is more monochrome. Is like in a word part. drab. Yeah, <laughs> patches of color, and yeah. you, if you like pop on top of stuff, the flowers will bloom and stuff. But yeah, definitely. I mean, it's an artistic choice. I, so, I think it looks cool. So we are in space. We are Kinda. exploring space. Mm. You're in you're we're in space planets. You're we're traveling space to other planets. And then you go and stuff. to a planet. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. We're mostly flying around planets, but having traveled through space, we are not in Kansas anymore. We have gone right. very, very far away. Hovercraft. This has it. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like an early, like an '80s or '90s. Uh, what are these like old sci-fi classics that like these novels that came out where mm -hmm. it just had like crazy looking visions of like what the future could possibly be um especially in terms of like a starship troopers or like a ender's game view of like going super super far yeah possibly connecting with like other you know species and aliens and stuff and just the traveling of it i've played less than you of what you've played how much of that was flying how much of that was just wee, like almost, zipping around? Almost all. Besides like two cutscenes, that was it. It's all, but like, it's all hovercraft action. Chase the sun, you're super close. And this, you're, you're very, very tiny. You can zoom in, but yeah, it's you're smaller for sure. And I'm a fan. I kind of like reminds me of like Below. Like I yeah, really like when yeah. they make, especially like in indie or games, you know, that don't have like the detail or the budget, like to really blow up the environments and, and do them with a lot of detail. And so I, I dig what this game lacks in De There's got to be another word for it because, like, the people in this game are like dolls. <laughs> like, they're, they're they're a little creepy. They're kind of low poly. Yeah, <laughs> it's an, definitely an interesting intentional choice, but in an effective way. You yeah, can tell, yeah, like, yeah. they you know, even if they, they they do look similar, don't have a lot of detail to them. It's like, okay, they clearly look and they look different. Like, I have not seen that style done mm -hmm. a lot. What it lacks in detail, it makes up for in scale and you definitely have those moments i was thinking of like pathless which is a game which does not have like a ton of crazy textures and like the colors are like very very similar in a lot of the environments but like you jump off a cliff and like you really get that like legitimate mm, yeah. like kind of rush and like there are some moments of this of like wow of just like going through you know atmospheres and discovering yeah. new islands and when you when you pretty in that way when you're going at a good clip and jump over like a cliff or something in this it's it feels cool and like they're introducing more and more little like you've got your scram jets or whatever, and you can surge them to go faster. And they introduce these little like plants that if you ru run over them, your surge or your surge drive thing doesn't overheat. So like if you hit those, you can go fast for longer. And like if you pop on top of these little flower beds, they'll jump you up really high and stuff like that. So it's like they're introducing these things that like right now you're learning them as mechanics. So probably like later you can use them in. In, mm. in the minute or in in situ as they say just imagine you and dawn in one of these things and you're like search the scrab jets <laughs> i don't know what Pop that means off the cliff <laughs> blossoms or whatever the hell they're called so is it is it kind of like an ssx you know because like i, I just play SSX is the furthest thing in my mind when i was playing this but well just in terms of like we i'm having fun it's not like like if you if you do like okay you'll still like at least finish in ssx and you can get through most of the modes and stuff or you yeah. can do Lots of crazy tricks and go nuts and it's more like, meditative than that. It feels less. S sex like, is very meditative for me. <laughs> well, this feels less like high octane sporty than. No, this is yeah. Two, yeah this is the two thousand one version of yes, that. But like yeah, there is yeah. a, like there is kind of I guess like a this is more Solaris, somewhere between like somewhere yeah. between like a Star Fox zone and F zero because there is like speeds a factor and yeah. like 
I think even in the tutorial, he's like, hey, cut loose. We're almost at our destination. Right, right, right. Yeah, so, that's when he introduces the surging, yeah. Because at least that's what... <laughs> that's when he starts surging all over the place Surge in that game. everywhere. Uh, there's a game called X01 that's also out on Steam. I played an early version of it. I don't know if like the final version of it came out or if it's something that's going to like, you know, eventually get updated in parts. But it just has the same kind of like, we like, mm-hmm. almost kind of like a mobile like ATV, you know, MX sense of like learning jumps and momentum and... and uh, you're just traveling. You're just like yeah. m- moving along the horizon. So was that yeah, satisfying discovering new stuff? Yeah, I, I, it's fun. And I mean, you're a scout. So like what you're doing in this is like scouting out this new planet because it's a kind of, an, I mean, an interesting story and maybe hopefully not too prophetic story of like <laughs> yeah. the planet is dying. So they have to get out of there and they're going to a new planet to like see if it's viable and you're the scouts basically. Do they say it's Earth or they're just like, ah, our planet's I toast." I don't think it's Earth. Yeah, okay. I think it's a different society. Doll but, planet. Yeah, Doll Dollville. There's a part early on where you're like waiting for a storm to uh pass and that's kind of where it teaches you like the mechanics of the planet where it's like drive over these to go fast forever, jump on this to jump, turn here to turn really fast, you know. Interesting mechanic. The 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 interesting thing with this game but I kind of appreciate it. And, like, you can exit and it'll save where you are. But um, the missions before you start them will say, like, allow two hours for this. <laughs> yeah. like, allow, the, the beginning is, like, allow 30 minutes for this. And then the second mission was, like, allow two hours. I was, like, oh, okay. Um, is this flight simulator? What's going yeah, on Yeah, it's, like, what am I doing here? <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's a really, like, slower, like, fun, meditative space hovercraft game. Allow one day. Allow, yeah. Damn. Allow infinity. And then you like talk to your friend then who's like, I did it, worth it. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> I, did a, I did a full twenty four hour mission. <laughs> Top ten moment to of two thousand twenty. No. Yeah. It's like Death Stranding though. It's like actually Death Stranding is a pretty good comparison for this. Well, I I guess the one question so I far. have from is the limited um uh part of it that I played is it like did it ever get tough? Did you have to like replay any parts of it or is it just Not like so hey, I made it to the next spot? I haven't beaten it or anything. So um because yeah, I never I got know. stuck in Death Stranding. I never like had to no. like redo a run. And so uh I but I again I played it, you know, but, um, so much less than anyone else. Yeah, not so far, but I can definitely imagine with the mechanics that they've introduced in this that it could definitely get pretty yeah. intense. Like Death Stranding is a great example because it's like sparse, not a lot going on in the horizon. Right. You see a lot of the same colors again and again, but really interesting when you discover something that you don't understand. You know, yeah. really neat, great dialogue. You know, like or or, or just. Kind of that 2001, just kind of low hum of scientists yeah, working. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. That, I like that. I, That's I like, what I like. It's, I like an alien that there's like a couple of conversations. You're like, what are they talking? Well, I don't know. I'm not an engineer, so I right. wouldn't know what well, part and of the, the engine they're fixing. Well, and the tutorials, the tutorials are like contextualized by that kind of scientific yeah. thing, which is kind of nice. And like what you're there for, like they've they've got it. Like, oh, we need to categorize these the the flora of the planet or whatever mm-hmm. while you're also learning like oh this has a benefit for me on a, as a spaceship video game mechanic you know yeah um i am curious like i do wonder because i haven't like i said i haven't beaten it or anything i'm wondering like if later on you'll get to areas that are like super colorful and like really cool looking and stuff that'll be cool if it happens i'm gonna put you on the spot though right now how much time are you gonna put into this realistically where are I you mean, at because i think you and i were both excited about this and then now that we played a little bit of it we're like cool you know but it's yeah. not it doesn't feel like the kind of experience right now where i'm like gosh darn it that's yeah you, that's and you the thing. described it as meditative and so i guess that's it that like there's not there's not a pull where i'm like holy cow the mystery of this world is you know i'm on the edge right, of my seat right. but of what i've played is like oh that was great you know that was very chill well it's interesting because like for me personally right now because things are so busy and we have to do so many other things. Right. And I'm about to leave town. Like, realistically, I probably won't get back to this game for a little while. Similar with I, I, my most recent upcoming, I don't know when this video is coming out, but like most recent slash upcoming episode of Easy Update, I play Book of Travels. This game and Book of Travels and all the like this kind of stuff where it's like, if you want to just like get into that mindset and live in it, mm-hmm. it's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. And like you can really dig in and like become a part of it. And I think it it's unfair. I have to do so many other things. <laughs> right. I didn't finish Spirit Fair, but it kind of was it's the same thing like for that. me. Where yeah, like yeah, yeah. while I was playing Spirit Fair, I was like reminded every now and then, like, oh yeah, but this game has like an ending. <laughs> you know, it was yeah. like I'm not even in that headspace. I'm just like more map, that more stuff, had a more story. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's a neat place to be, but it's very it's very first Star Trek film. It's very it's very just yeah. what you know, just that really kind of distant. Here's the time, um, smoky like which I the, love. Though. What the heck is that on the horizon? Yeah, um, yeah. Which uh, if we had all the time in the world, we check out more. I mean, but the design, we have time for impressions at the very least. Yeah, the design of the colony ship and like right away when the title comes up that says Jet and whatever, yeah. it's like okay, yeah, we're doing. 2001 Star Trek. Yeah, we're doing we're doing It's very fluid. Late All the 70s. transitions between conversations and you, mm-hmm. you know, discovering yeah. things and going in and out. And it's just neat in any game to be like super far away from your ship and then whoop, all yeah, of a sudden you're in. talking to yeah. a person. Um, I like it. It's kind of like it's like overworld vibes of like early, you know, plays PS1 like RPGs and stuff like that where you're like, "Oh, it's the town." You know, oh, like yeah, where you yeah, get yeah. to a place. Um, scope. It's fun when games do it well. Yeah. Jet, check it out. Maybe we'll talk about it later. Sure. Um, We'll definitely talk about that, and we'll talk about the game, the book of travels on the podcast. We'll get to more of this other stuff. Oh, you talking about that? It's on. It's we're doing. We're doing our preview of the next quarter. Oh, Um, but that's one of them. We played it. Boom. Check it off the list. Boom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Asian town on board. Kako Dustin Blues. Ruvan Shunzai Ketreshin. Ed, Loma, Moshtin Bell, 